I think my favorite thing about being on The Hitchhikers is not only the amazing robots that we build every single year, but also how well we're able to go out into the community and show the great things that we're doing on this team. So we're here at the Museum of Natural Sciences. And the Robot Rumble. Cam Durant. The Durham Bulls Athletic Park. We're here today to do a demo at Resurrection Lutheran School. Demos are important for the team because it's a way of taking the robot in the community uh, and combining them. When we're out, a lot of people are really impressed with what we create, and then they're even more impressed that it's high schoolers. They actually came into one of my classrooms. I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. I didn't know robotics teams were a thing. So I was like, I'll sign up. I actually enjoy robotics more than I thought I would. It changed like my view on just like what I thought I was into. Five o'clock, shut off my computer, whether I'm in the middle of something or not and I run to robotics. It's just really an, an addicting type of thing uh, to see what, what the students can build and, and what we can produce. I learned to use power tools and drill presses and I've, I've helped build this, this robot that kind of came from scratch and became something awesome. A lot of the stuff, especially electrical that we use, is actually used in the real world. I started my job putting wires into connectors and they're the exact same connectors that we use here. Our real goal is to get others inspired in, in STEM related programs. So we're actually one of the founders of Triangle FLL, a volunteer based organization that hosts uh, preseason FLL tournaments. We've also been connected with the Wade Edwards Learning Lab for the past few years and we've been able to come in in the summer and run robot camps. Taught the students FLL, how to build a robot, design it, program it, and then at the end of the week they actually took that skills to FRC and rebuilt our 2013 robot. I, I show folks uh, that I work with the robots that the students build on this team and they are amazed. One of the things that we want to do is make sure that rookie teams are ready to go starting day one. For example, in Cortec, we give them one of our previous year's robot for one of the off-season competitions that we hold. They modified it and they competed as a rookie team. In addition to the, to the rookie team and young teams that we've been working with, uh, uh, we have uh, some strong uh, uh, partnerships with, uh, with some of our sponsors. Over this past year, we established a relationship with the Optimus Club in Raleigh. They've been allowing us to not only meet, but also build our robots in their facility. Really important relationship uh, for the team uh, going forward with the Optimus Club. One of the things that makes our team unique is our strong focus on leadership. I mean, being a hook captain, I've learned so many things across the board because when you're in charge of something, you've got to make sure that you represent the team and that you're getting the team to be wherever it needs to be. One of the things I really learned this year was how to communicate and how to teach others the roles of first design process, the thinking process, the build process. I became a lot better at this year teaching others and helping others learn and prosper from what I have learned. It's very rewarding to, to see the, the students grow in that way. 